All right, now we've connected the printer to our host computer, but our host computer won't necessarily be correctly configured as far as its operating system parameters for the display. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this in Windows, which is probably the most complex of Mac and, and Linux and Windows. So I'm, I'm running Windows 8 right now, but Windows 7 and, in, and XT are similar. I'm selecting screen resolution. And the first thing we notice is we've got this uh, indication that there are two screens, but they are duplicated. And that's, that's typically the default. So the first thing I need to do uh, where it says multiple displays, we want to extend these displays. And it, now it shows there are two, but it also says that I must apply before making additional changes. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, now it asks, do you want to keep these settings? We do. Now you see there are two displays. One is the monitor, which we, uh, which we are looking at on our host computer. The second one, when I click on it, it says Vivitech D912. Now we just want to make sure that the resolution is set to the native resolution, which is 1920 by 1080, and it is. Uh, once again, we see it says extend these displays. We do not want to make this our primary display. Uh, and so that's pretty much all we have to do to get the projector recognized as display ID number two. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK there. Now there's a few other things we want to think about, and that is uh, basically screen savers as well as uh, some sort of power saving modes. So um, I've gone ahead and opened up the personalization screen. I'm going to click on the screen saver option on the right hand side. Uh, right now it looks like it's got bubbles selected. Well we're going to change that to none and that, that will basically disable our screen saver. And then also you know down here that you can change the power settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that link. And uh, we have, it uh, looks like high performance selected, but I'm going to go ahead and click on change the plan settings. Now over here on battery, I don't really care because whenever I'm printing, I'm always going to be plugged in. But over here on plugged in, I'm going to change turn off the display to never. And I'm going to change put the computer to sleep to never. Uh, it also allows me to adjust the brightness, and we want, the, we want those to always be full bright. So we'll save those changes, and then we'll close that down. So now we've disabled the screen saver, and we've also turned off the uh, power saving modes when we're plugged in. The only other thing you might want to do is if your operating system has automatic updates, you want to select that so that it won't, um, you want to change that setting so that it doesn't try to do an automatic update into a long, you know, two hours into a long print and somehow reboot the computer. Uh, you want to refer to your specific operating uh, system instructions to, to um, understand how to do that. Okay, now we've, uh, th we've pretty much finished the setup of, the, of the, uh, the operating system's display parameters and next we'll, we'll look at actually configuring the printer itself. Now, on Windows, there is a, what we call the taskbar located down here on the bottom. When we're printing, we don't want that taskbar to be displayed on top of our print window because obviously you don't want to 3D print a taskbar. So if you right click on that and select properties, it'll bring up a little properties dialog. And down near the bottom, uh, it'll say multiple displays and it, it usually says show taskbar on all displays. We want to turn that off, so I'll just turn off that check bar. And now the taskbar will only de be displayed on our primary monitor. It won't be displayed on our projector. So you hit uh, OK or apply and that'll save that change.